Hey guys, this is Big D Wiz, OldSchoolStereo.com. Today I wanted to do a quick update video showing a few things I have going on. First off, I did get a replacement hard drive for my computer. It crashed the C drive and I was thinking about just replacing the computer, but I've been unable to find one yet that I want. So I thought what I'd do in the meantime is just go ahead and you know, get a replacement drive and instead of a regular spinning hard drive I got an SSD drive and this is a 64 gig which is not a huge drive but for a C drive that's basically all most people ever need anyway because I keep all my data on second and third drives so I'll get this installed and I'll be able to use my Vegas again and, and do some more video editing so that's update number one so let's see what else is updated in the old school stereo labs Alright, look at what we have here. Update number two. We got the surrounds replaced on the JL Audio 8W6s. These were done at a local uh, speaker repair shop. And I wanted them to do it because uh, I didn't have the expertise. You see there's a little bit of extra glue there, but no problem. The surrounds from SpringfieldSpeakerRepair.com fit perfect. And I'm going to send some pictures and email back the... Um, gentleman who helped me out there is very helpful just to let him know that these actually did work so I'm going to soon get these in a box and we'll test them out and see how they sound so let's see what else is going on in old school stereo labs all right and next up we have what appears to be a DVD player now why would I be talking about a DVD player on old school stereo well <laughs> same reason I talk about the mini amps uh, no just kidding um, this actually is not a DVD player any longer. It is actually, as you can see, wires coming out of the back. This is actually converted into a dummy load. As you can see, I used the nice little rubber grommets there on both sides. Have nice 8 gauge wire coming out for the speaker terminals. So, and also I'm going into the little distribution blocks here so it can easier eat more easily hook up the speakers to these without you know minimal loss because of the larger cables here so let me get out my screwdriver and I'll take out take off the uh, top and show you what's inside here's a gut shot of the converted DVD player into the resistor load as you can see these huge resistors here are actually wire wound 120 watt at 1 ohm resistors and I have uh, two sets of four, and each of the f each of these banks are wired in series. So I have four ohm load at 480 watts on this side, a four ohm load at 480 watts on this side. I wire the two in parallel. That gives me 960 watts at two ohms. Now, an earlier video I showed you my other resistor bank. And I'll grab it real quick because it's right here this is the 800 watt at 2 ohm or 8 ohm resistor bank so this enables me to be able to test two channel 2 ohm loads and also enables me to test 1 ohm mono loads for the high current amps such as this one And the last update I'll do for today is the Chinese mini amps. Seems to be a lot of interest in these. The next one up I'm going to test is the Lapai LP V3. As you can see, this amplifier is used Bose Power IC. Not the best English there, but um, we're going to test it out and see how it works. So this one will be the next one up on the bench. I'll do something real quick and show you. Here appears to be the exact same, at least in the exact same casing as the 2020A+. So I'm having high hopes for this one to perform well. So thanks you guys for watching. Stay tuned to my channel. Subscribe. Leave some comments. Make sure comments make sense. I'm sure most of you guys do that. And I appreciate that. Give me a thumbs up. Tell all your friends. This is Big D Wiz. I'm out of here.